Hello and welcome to Future Proof, where we look at how advances in science and technology are changing our lives and the way we do business. I'm Matt Goodrick and this month I'm in San Francisco to talk about genomics, coming up on the programme. We'll look at the advances in the study of our genetic makeup as we sit down with one of the women behind what's been called potentially the greatest scientific discovery of the century. Like any technology, it has the potential to do wonderful things and terrible things. Scientists say the gene editing tool CRISPR-Cas9 has the potential to cure disease, protect crops and eliminate genetic cancers. Almost any condition where there's a gene affected, you'll see people trying to fix it using this type of technology. It's fast, affordable and growing in popularity. But how much can home DNA testing really tell us? And why a lack of global genetic data is shortchanging some of the world's biggest populations. Most of the data which has been created around genomics is based on Caucasian and European data sets. These mice all have one unusual trait. They've been given a green fluorescent jellyfish gene. They're part of an experiment to prove the viability of the latest gene editing technology. We'll return to these guys later. But first, what is CRISPR-Cas9? When a virus comes along, bacteria can snip up invading DNA and copy parts of it into their own genomes. That way they can recognize the virus and know how to fight it later. This defense system is called CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR is a type of molecule called RNA, and it stands for, and this is a mouthful, clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats. CRISPR-Cas9 relies on a protein enzyme, and together it cuts a particular DNA sequence in the genome, which is then replaced or repaired by another DNA molecule introduced at the same time. Dr. Kasim used an earlier form of gene editing to treat a little girl who was dying from leukemia. It worked, and Layla survived. 